Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be going over the 24 goals I have for 2024. So it's November. In two months, it will be 2024. And I've already created my goals for 2024. Mind you, these are not set in stone. Within the next two months, they may change. Also, I only actually made 23, so I have two months to come up with another one. So let's get into it. I'm just going to read them all to you. Um, maybe elaborate a little on some of them. And then also ask you to let me know in the comments, first of all, what are your your New Year's resolutions for 2024? And what do you think my 24th should be? So here are my 24, yeah, 22. Here are my 24 goals for 2024. Okay. So my goal number one is to get Ford and Queens traditionally published. I finished it like three days ago. And so that's going to be really soon. Well, not really soon. It's going to be a long process. My goal is to have it done, like published by the end of 2024. I mean, it's a long process. So, you know, 12 months to do it. Hopefully that'll work. Hopefully it'll be, hopefully I can get it to you guys. Sorry, I have a, I've had a bad day and I really cannot speak right now. Like my, my brain is shutting down and I still have to write today. Anyway, goal number two is to read 40 books. In the past, I've been making my goal to read 100 books each year, and I have never once hit it, especially when I'm writing. When I am trying to write a lot, I never end up reading that much at all. I can't balance them both well, like reading and writing. So 40 books is doable, definitely. And I'm trying to stick to slightly more maintainable goals this year. Mind you, maybe they're all not maintainable. And a big part of my personality I make the highest goals that I cannot achieve, but I come close, and I will come close. Anyway, goal number three is to reach 10,000 subscribers on YouTube and 10,000 followers on Instagram. Right now, I have almost 300 subscribers on YouTube, so getting to 10,000 is, like, uh, like, seven times what I have now, right? Did I do that right? Hold up, I'm going to calculate that and see if I did that good. I did not do that good at all. That is not seven times. That's like 70 times. No, that makes no sense either. Hold up. Am I right? 70? Oh my gosh, no. 50 times. You know what? No, this is not working. 10,000 divided by 300. Okay, it's 33 times what I have now. I don't know how I intend to do that. So share my channel with people who will subscribe to me and subscribe to me yourself <laughs> because I need that. Why is that? Is Why is that my goal? You know what? Whatever. We're going to hit that because, you know, once you like your subscribers, a channel subscriber amount is normally exponential. Like so once it starts picking up growth, hopefully I can grow a lot in a short amount of time. And it seems to me that so far Instagram, I gained followers. It's easier to gain, gain followers. I made like five videos and I have like 20, 20 followers. And I haven't put any effort into it and haven't maintained, like I haven't, sorry, I haven't posted in like a while. So I feel like that will be slightly more doable. Anyway, goal number four is, also I'm realizing this is going to take a long time to go through. We're going to try to speed it up. Goal number four is to reach an audience size of 1,000 on my Spotify podcast. That's like the different distinct people who have listened to it. I think we're at like 13 right now. Go check out my podcast. I'll have it linked in the thingy description. <laughs> okay, goal number five is to eat healthier. Um, I need to be gluten-free and I'm vegetarian. And I want to eat less processed foods and less sugar. Yeah. Okay. Goal six is to run outside every day over the summer because I need to become faster for cross country. I need to be one of the fastest. I am slow. And I if I run every day over the summer, I'm going to become faster. Even if I don't even notice it, it'll be, or at least be keeping up the progress I made in track. Okay. Goal number seven is to improve at sports in general. More specifically, reach 410. Sorry. 4.8 on high jump. My highest is 4.6. Um, so reach 4.8 on high jump in track, which is coming soon. And then to be on the varsity cross country team, which I'm totally 100% going to be on. But because I'm close. 
I'm not saying that because, like, I'm arrogant. I'm just really close to being, like, to making the cut. Anyway, uh, goal number eight is to drink more water. I'm very dehydrated all the time, so maybe drinking more water would make me faster, too. No, I don't, I don't know if that's how that works, but whatever. <laughs> Nine is to thoroughly clean my room once a month because I do not clean my room. This room's really clean. My house, my room, my, my dad's house is really messy. I should actually thoroughly clean it, like, uh, really clean it, deep clean it, go through everything, toss out all the stuff I never touch, you know, don't toss it out, I'm gonna, like, give it away, anyway, uh, goal number 10 is to practice my flute 80 minutes a week, well, sorry, something weird happened. Um, 11 is to write over 15,000 words of, like, my fiction work in progress and one poem each week. Goal number 12 is to find my optimal writing time and environment. Like, test out a lot of things and have it found by the end of the year. Goal number 13 is to finish my work in progresses. I want to finish the, all four books of, four, of the Fordham Queen series. I finished one, and I intend to finish the second one by the end of 2023. So then I just need to write um, the last two in 2024, and then Boys of Chicago. Which, if you don't know, that is the third book in the book I, series I have published under a different name. That I published a while ago, and everyone keeps asking me when I'm going to give them the next book, and I'm not going to. And I really don't want to write it, so if I don't finish that part of that goal, that's okay. It could be a secret. Except it's not a secret at all. Anyway, um, goal 14 is to create a yoga or meditation habit. I do not do yoga or meditation often at all, but the one couple random times I did it this year, it is pretty good. I feel like it'd be good for me to do that. It's good for your mental health. And that'd be a good habit to get into, right? I don't say what the habit could be. It could be a habit of doing it once a month. You know. And, you know, find ways to cheat out of my own goals. Uh, and then goal 15 is to train so I can bench press 40 pounds and can do 100 push-ups in a row. 100 push-ups in a row sounds harder than bench pressing 40 pounds, but I can only bench press 20 pounds at the moment, so I don't really know how I'm going to get that either. I probably won't make it to that goal, but I'll try because I go to um, weight room three days a week, early in the morning at like 6 a.m. Um, every other week. Maybe that'll be enough to someday be able to bench press. 40 pounds anyway 16 is goal 16 is to eat more protein because since i run and work out so much you know protein's good for your muscles or something like that you know and because protein's good for you um goal 17 is to try 20 writing challenges or experiments and those will all be vlogged you'll get to watch me struggle and complete 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 because i'm stubborn my challenges and experiments okay um goal 18 is to win Camp NaNoWriMo, you know, writing 50,000 words in, I think it's July. Um, 19 is to win NaNoWriMo, November, and win all the badges. Goal 20 is to call my pen pail turned phone pail um, once a month. Goal 21 is to face one fear each month. I should probably figure out what, I think I have a list of fears somewhere. You know, face one fear each month, taking a friend with me. I think it'd just be really fun to take a friend with me. But I don't know what these fears are. I mean, I'm afraid of, like, dead animals. But, like, what, what, how would I have to face that? You know, I don't like this goal anymore. Let's remove it. Tell me in the comments if I should remove that. Or if you want to see me face my fears. What are my fears? I don't know. We will find that out, too. <laughs> Goal 22 is to make an Instagram reel and YouTube video every day so that I gain my subscribers, obviously, and so that I can give you guys stuff. And goal 23 is to reach a typing speed of 70 words per minute. Currently, my typing speed is pretty much the average, which is 40 words per minute. But my friend Evangeline has a typing average typing speed of 70 words per minute. And I feel like if I could type that fast, I could write more, you know, common sense. Uh, I'm so smart. Um, so I want to try to become a faster typer. Maybe find, like, typing games or something to help me with that. Let me know if you know of any good ways to make me type faster. I mean, I already type pretty fast compared to 
my non-writer friends, but I want to be able to write even faster, you know, so that I don't just write 1,000 words per half hour. Instead, I can write like 2,000 words per half hour. That would be great. Okay. So that sums up this very odd random video. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed watching. Make sure to, if you want, like and subscribe. Okay, bye. I'm a little insane. Don't, if, if you're new here, don't judge me off of this video. This is a bad first impression. Mm-hmm. Okay, bye. Whee!